the dial test. The dial test is a clinical examination test that is performed to diagnose postrolateral instability due to postrolateral corner injury with or without the posterior cruciate ligament injury. This topic is an important topic. These are the three main structures of the posterolateral corner. The LCL or the lateral collateral ligament, the popliteofibular ligament, and the popliteus tendon. Isolated injuries of the posterolateral corner are rare and often cause instability and various thrust. By performing the dial test, you can detect if there is an isolated or combined injury of the posterolateral corner of the knee. The combined injury with the posterior cruciate ligament is more than the combined injury with the anterior cruciate ligament. Failure to identify the posterolateral corner injury combined with injury to the ACL will lead to failure of ACL reconstruction. Therefore, it is important to properly diagnose this injury. Injury to the posterolateral corner should be suspected when there is a positive reverse pivot shift test and a negative posterior drawer test. This means that the posterolateral corner is injured and the posterior cruciate ligament is not injured. Imaging You may have an avulsion fracture of the fibula called the arcuate fracture. Long-standing radiographs are important to evaluate the alignment of the extremity. Patient may have a bony varus, but also ligamentous varus on top of the bony varus. The ligamentous varus can come from injury to the lateral collateral ligament, and the occult one can be from the posterolateral corner. MRI is a great study to diagnose the posterolateral corner injury, and if there is a combined injury, especially the PCL. How do you perform the dial test? The dial test can be performed with the patient supine or prone. And you put both knees in 30 degree and in 90 degree of flexion. Some people like the prone position better. Make sure you support the thigh so it doesn't move, especially if you are going to perform the test in the supine position. The tibia is passively externally rotated on the femur, and you can do that by applying external rotation force to both feet. The amount of external rotation to both lower extremities is measured at both ankles. Testing of the injured extremity in theory degree of flexion is done to determine injury to the posterolateral corner. Here the patient is prone and here the test is done at 30 degree of flexion of the knee. Flexion at 90 degree angle will test the posterior cruciate ligament injury. Here is the patient knee flexed at 90 degree and the external rotation is assessed comparing the right and the left side, and that will test the posterior cruciate ligament. A side-to-side -side difference of 10 degree or more means the test is positive and there is a significant injury. 10 degree of external rotation asymmetry at 30 degree and 90 degree of flexion of the knee is consistent with posterolateral corner and posterior cruciate injury, a combined injury. An increased external rotation at 30 degree but not at 90 degree of flexion indicates an isolated injury to the posterolateral corner. Proximal tibial osteotomy should be done for the bony varus of the knee before reconstruction of the posterolateral corner, otherwise this reconstruction will fail. 
So you obtain long leg standing x-rays before surgery to check if the virus is primary or secondary. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.